And on the Jersey Shore, there is a turf battle underway. Sand dunes were put in place to protect the coastline from another disaster like Superstorm Sandy. One couple says, though, they are losing their view and the value of their home. Their lawsuit led to a six-figure settlement, but the state Supreme Court has just tossed that deal out. Michelle Miller is in Harvey Cedars, New Jersey, with a view of some of those dunes. Michelle, good morning. Good morning, Nora. This isn't just about one home or the 22-foot sand dune I'm standing on. It's seen as a wider case of coastal protection, and it's really about the town's fight to keep it with the dune here, although you can see that it's really a lot of times at the first level. The first Mayor level. Jonathan Oldham Instead says sand dunes saved the town of Harvey Cedars from the ravages of Superstorm Sandy. Without them, he says, these exclusive multi-million dollar beachfront homes would have washed out to sea. It's a must. And for us, there was no other, no other answer. Mayor Oldham supports Monday's Supreme Court ruling against the owners of this two-story, $1.7 million home. The owners sued the town for building the 22-foot dune on their property, saying it blocked their view, devalued their home by half a million dollars, and they were not justly compensated. A lower court awarded them $375,000. And so they're saying, you know what, you, you have damaged the value of my property by building this dune to protect my home in front of in front of me. Haven't you? I mean, isn't that what people are paying for, the view? Well, if you don't have a home, what difference does it make? Right? You want to you put your tent out there? The dune system has been a work in progress here for three years. It's part of a statewide coastal protection plan. An aerial tour post-Hurricane Sandy confirmed that communities who fortified their dune systems suffered far less damage during the superstorm than those that didn't. Residents concerned about signing easements, which give the government a right to access their property, feared politicians could build whatever they wanted, and their property values would tank. Governor Chris Christie has called them knuckleheads. I have no interest in taking your property. I don't want to build a road. I don't want to build a bathroom. I don't want to build anything except a dune, okay? We are not going through that again, so you can sit on the first floor rather than the second floor and see the ocean. The case has now been kicked back to a state court to decide a payout for the couple. Mayor Oldham says the dunes, in fact, increase property values and adds the safety of the many outweighs the need of a view. We had 95% of the people of our town sign their easements. 95% of them signed them for a dollar, right? Because they saw the value in what they were getting by getting protection. The couple that sued the town declined an interview, but we did speak with their attorney. He says they're ready for the next round as they seek what they consider just compensation. Nora, Anthony. And Michelle, how big is that dune that you're standing on? It's 22 feet high, or at least that's the grade that it should be. Uh, it varies in different places. And as you can see, they're in the process of trying to restore it since Superstorm Sandy. All right. Michelle Miller. Thanks, Michelle.